Hey guys, what's up? I am Media Tire AOT2, and you're welcome to your favorite podcast in the world, in Nigeria, in Africa, everywhere else, in the solar solar system, galaxy, wherever, wherever you're listening to this. Welcome to 234 Essential, and of, obviously my course is here. Hey guys, what's up? Oguchi the Evil Stallion here. How are you guys doing? Yep, 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 yep. It seems we may have to move our... Uh, our release date to uh what's it called now thursdays you know because mom proposes uh but uh i guess lagos dip- disposes or something i don't know i don't think so i i feel like it's just the time of the year and it's just been crazy in terms of scheduling and yeah i don't say the beginning of the year but like yeah it's pretty much the beginning of the year and just getting into the ham of things just been crazy so maybe we should apologize first maybe we'll start from there with apologizing i would not drop on wednesday sorry guys we'll not drop on wednesday um you know as it is mom proposes you know also disposes at the end of the day um uh, at least we are consistent i don't want to, I, I i know that we're not we're not regular on wednesdays anymore but at least we are still dropping yeah. it every week that's some podcasts that i know what? i won't i won't mention mm-hmm. name they've not returned since 2023 and by the third month of this year so yes uh like somebody I'm told me over the weekend yeah. somebody told me over the weekend that it seems that a lot of nigerians party too hard in december and many people are still trying to catch up, yeah. you know. And with the buzz boost of the uh-huh. economy and everything, is everybody yeah. just everybody's just on a crashing level, you know. But hey, Honestly. yeah, guys, we are here. Um, we're finally we are here again. Thank you guys for listening to us. If you listen to the last episode, thank you guys for listening. If you've not listened, you're part of the people that like storing um, episodes that can binge binge listen to it. I guess you just have That's to go and listen bro. to that. Yeah, so people <laughs> do that actually. When they are doing the, yeah. when they are doing the this thing, when they are doing their like house shows and everything, shows and everything, they now uh-huh, just uh-huh. You know, put on the podcast and start listening to it. I guess that's nice anyway. As long as you listen, Sha, and tell your friends. That's me, oh. And of obviously, <laughs> me, I listen to podcasts when I'm at work to deal with stress. I just put on oh, something, yeah. maybe yeah, maybe football, pop culture, music or something, and I just listen to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. But whatever floats, whatever works your boat at the end of the day, make sure you share uh-huh. this podcast with your friends. Also, try to invite new people to listen to it. It will be great. And if you're a first time listener, welcome. Bonjour. I believe bonjour is a. Welcome. What's welcome. bonjour? Bonjour is not welcome. No. Uh, uh, it's the same thing. No, I dare no, no. I dare <laughs> I didn't did pay attention in French class in primary school. I'm sorry. And in, I think I also did it in oh. secondary school. Anyway, welcome yeah, yeah, to okay. 234 Essential. This is the podcast that helps you break down the Nigeria experience and helps you navigate life in this great country of ours, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, the Federal Republic uh-huh. of Nigeria that is now, um, um, how, will I pull, how will I call it now, commissioning new trains every single day now. It seems like every state wants to commission train now after, well, thank God for the little... Well, well, I think futuristic. Yes, we are being futuristic. Uh, thank God for the little, thank God for the little development. We heard that the Abuja Metro line uh-huh. is eighty percent complete and will soon be commissioned too. Ooh, we thank ooh, you. Ooh, ooh. At least it is the only benefits you can get from these people. We will take it like that. We will take it like that. Anyway, Honestly. yeah. Anywho, let us start what See? we have come to do. But you have something to say, Ugochi. Yeah. I wanna- I wanted, yeah, I wanted to add to like what you had said earlier, like you no, know, just talking about the last episode. Please, if you haven't listened to our last episode, please, please, and please go and listen to the cost of living before the cost of living actually takes ends the living. Please listen. Yes, yeah, so, and follow us on every social. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me, come to town. I said, like, I said before we start, before we turn to zombie, may no come kill us for you. You understand. Abego, please. And I think more than anything, we deeply apologize. Somebody had told me that it's totally for we're now proud. That's why we're not recording. That's why we're not dropping I wish, on Wednesday. I wish I was proud. I, I did humble like this. For it has nothing to do with pride, trust me. It's just really the schedules. If you hear my voice very well, like this, I don't really tire, but 
you know yeah, yeah we try to show up we try to show up as, 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 exactly as often as possible um yeah. exactly for the love of what we do and the love of the people who listen um in on the podcast every week so yes thank you thank you thank you and we are deeply sorry we don't know when this will be rectified i hope soon we're looking at actually rectifying soon now are we here? yeah very soon very soon actually we we're meant to rectify yeah. it over the weekend but that weekend <laughs> well 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 it really just get talk that one. We shall. yeah we get that cv <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, we are here. We are here uh, anyway. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Let us jump straight into um uh, how our weeks went because we don't have any fan mail. Or at uh-huh. least I believe we don't have any fan mail. Uh, who do the honors? We actually, Which do. we actually do. Yeah, no, we my post has not just delivered it, but yeah, no, say, I don't know. We, uh, then, yeah, yeah, like when I post delivers, we'll read it anyway. But in the absence of that, we can just jump straight into catching up how our week went yeah. in, uh, in Nigeria. So, Gochi, how was your week? How did you fear? So, I, I think that this should be the best time to just give a disclaimer to say I really don't know what has been happening in the country in the past week. It's allowed. Uh, and this is not intentional. It's just like I've been just dealing with like my own whirlwind and... The, I mean, I know the basics. I know the. I don't want to say the basic things, but I know like the general things that have happened. But like in details, I really don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, my week has been. I'm, I don't know. Really, just leaving it in the hands of God, and I really don't. I really don't know how to how to say that I feel in general. I. Yeah, work has been working. Life has been life in. Um, there's so much to to get done. I think this this me this my rundown of my week is going to be really boring because like my energy is really low. Um, Hello. I don't know. There's just been a lot going on, and even currently, just weighing certain life decisions because like, is it worth it at the end of the day? Like all of yeah. this unnecessary Adult stress. Blues. Adult in blues. Adult in blues. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's very much me today. I'm actually experiencing a lot of blues. Um, but I'm hoping that by the by the next time we're recording that, you know, a lot of things are falling into place or first most importantly the planning for this event that um for the launch event that I'm working on currently would have happened and you know, there's just a little bit more hopefully. There's just yeah, a little the bit great more event. um yeah, that's good. it's going to be a lot of um um that's like the world, like the the chaos around me or the the ups and downs would have you know sort of sorted themselves out in a sense. It's the month of March and so it's the month of women. Happy mm-hmm. month for women. I, I mean, I mean, International Women's Day is coming up, so um, there's that. However, the entire month of March also just has. Um, just, you know, just, I think it's, even, I don't know if it's for black women or for women in general, but it's for women. It's yeah, for women in general. March, yeah, it's for women. And so I just want to say, um, if you're a woman and you're listening to 234, big shout out to you. Um, of course the month is for, is to, is to celebrate spotlight, highlight and empower, you know, having conversations around women. Um, I hope that you find, you find, um, you find areas where um, you feel uplifted, areas where you feel empowered. I feel like you continue to see avenues to just work together collaboratively. Many times, I saw one post recently, um, the same, um, it's so sad that, this is not verbatim though, but like it's so sad when mean girls organize women empowerment <laughs> um, seminars. And I'm just like, yeah, there's a lot of that. A lot of, and I'll be very honest, that um, sometimes, being around certain spaces, you would see a lot of that. Um, um, I w- if you're a mean woman or you're being mean to another woman, I, I beg you, pretty much, um, allow grace and allow room for growth, allow space for for excesses for other people. I, I think kindness is important in in every conversation, not limited to. 
it is important to always extend grace. Um, I don't know, man. That's my week has just been filled with a lot of back to back anxiety. I'll just be honest, but yeah, I really can't even remember what I've been doing all this time. It's really fuzzy, but yeah. Um, yeah. when is the event? Yeah, is it this weekend? For me, what is it? Yeah, yeah, it's on Sunday. The, yeah, it's on Sunday the tenth. Oh, ah, okay. After the tenth, you'll not be free. Yeah. You'll be free bed. I hope I will be. Um, I do <laughs> intend to. I do intend to relieve myself in a certain way, but yeah, that yeah, the tenth is anyway. the event, and I'm really looking forward to it because it feels it. It definitely is going to be um, um, one big um, what's the word now? That's one milestone for me that I'm really looking forward to achieving. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You've been planning this for a while, so it has been in the pipeline for a while, so it's finally here. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. I will be happy to talk about it once it's done because I really don't, I really don't see sense. But yeah, that's about it for me. I your yeah. I, I want to, I wanted to ask you today when you called me that, oh, how far are you did. Because we're not caught up in a while. So I think this will be a good time yeah. to actually just hear what's been happening for you, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, uh, my week will be summarized by the fuckery, epic fuckery that is called Zenith Bank. Um, oh, God. So I made some <laughs> transactions on Friday, right? The first person I sent that money to did not get that money until Monday. Mm-hmm. First of all, they even reversed it. It was Monday I knew they reversed it. Then I sent the money back to the person. Now, mm-hmm. my own personal money mm-hmm. that I sent to go and store somewhere, they have not, mm-hmm. in between them and the place I put it, I don't mention the other place because they've been sensible so far. The money has mm-hmm. been missing in transit. Till today, there is back and forth. No, 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 it has cleared from my end. No, we've not seen it from these people's end. It has cleared from their end. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that if you check Insta Blog Ninja on Friday and you find out that a naked man appeared in Zenith Bank Hall, banking hall, mm. just don't need no need to read the story, just know it's me. Because I think Zenith Bank mm. wants to see madness on Friday and they, they will get least definitely see the Friday. They will definitely see that madness. You know, a lot of people have complained that over the last one week or two weeks that they are making transactions and it's not delivering and they're being debited. And uh-huh. Zenith Bank will use all the whole time in the world before they even reply you. And they will not even have the envelope to tell you that, no, so successful on our own end, check the other end. Well, that was how my week went uh, with, uh, with Nigerian banks, uh, mm-hmm. pissing me off. Yes. Um, I tried to do something on Saturday that has to involve Lagos State. And once again, I remember that mm-hmm. civil servants and civil service will never move this country forward. Because I wasted like five hours or six hours of my time chasing one single paper. Mm-hmm. And I was frustrated. <laughs> that there was no gen. The gen okay. came, but the generator is bad. Oh, the generator has been repaired now, but there's no fuel. Oh, fuel is not here. Okay. Printer has no ink. Twice. And I was like, bro, I don't I don't care if they use this oh. paper to go and collect a visa in America. I don't do it again. Please. I'm, I want to be left alone. So my weekend was actually frustrating. It was a frustrating weekend. It was a very frustrating weekend. I won't lie, you know. The week was good. It was okay. It was normal. But that yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm-hmm. oh, the devil really, the devil was really doing over time. It was really doing over time. But we thank God we are here. Over Sha. time, yeah. We are here, Sha. We thank God. We, they won't kill us. Nigerian banks won't kill me. That's all I know. Have they- I'm telling you, I think that Nigerian banks will forever be an enigma to Nigerians because the way they just they take the debit per se money like this is with ease, or the yeah. way like they just move your money or or miss your transactions without any qualms. It's just like easy, but yeah, mm-hmm. I mean you, that's, you what, that's what we sort of get for for me. Yeah. Tell me, you know, you know the annoying thing is that. When you receive credit alert, when you when you get money to your account, you won't get credit alert. So you don't even know how to properly you check the app and the credit alert yeah. is not there yet, or the debit alert is not there yet. And it's just it's frustrating. Huh. It's frustrating. Well, I mean, 
the one the one that GT Bank did to me that I'm just realizing today because the person um even like prompted me shout out to shout out to Namdi probably he knows he knows he knows himself but like <laughs> the the one that even bust my head that I didn't get the debit alert. I saw the money in my account, but there was no name attached to it. So I was just like, mm, what's, what is this one? So I, I for, completely forgot to go back to check to see if it had updated or something. It just stayed like that. They, they didn't, no alerts, no nothing. If I didn't check my um, app, I wouldn't have seen the money in my account. So like, yeah, that's what they do. Just if you don't check, honestly, that's what they do. If you don't check, you will not know. Honestly, it's crazy. Yeah. Nigerian banking is so <laughs> so backward. Despite the internet banking and everything, it's still way back. I don't should be buying and say they've left Nigeria for you before. Oh, Titi. Titi. Um, they won't weigh heavy for their load though. They won't weigh heavy for their load though. They won't weigh big for their load. They don't carry on. Titi. They if they if they were crawling, they'll be back. They'll be back to where they are where they are right now. I now, but like, see, I don't know. I, I was reading one thing today where they said, uh, I think it was on Naira Matrix, where they were talking about, they said 787 companies have shut down in Nigeria. And I'm just like, what? Wait, so we have some, we have that many companies in of, Nigeria. So I, I'm sure this is also like probably inclusive of, I, I'll confirm that, but I'm sure it's probably inclusive of like small, small, medium scale businesses, not just Obviously, like the yeah. big established ones. Yeah. Yeah, 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 even that number might not even be accurate because we get even Instagram vendors say don't go register uh -uh. businesses. So now we have to see CEO. Mo 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 um, the skyrocketing of the FX that one so steady, but like 787 companies is a staggering amount of companies. Yeah, and the people that yeah, I imagine the people working there jobless now. Do you understand? That's yet another how many billions of people back in mm -hmm. the labor market with no no idea how they are going to make it. Like how exactly did this mathematics matter because it doesn't mm. make any sense to me, to be honest. At all. It really doesn't At make all. any sense. That's so crazy. Okay, okay we have good news. Uh, Night Post came in uh, last minute with a screamer. Oh, really? So, so we have family. Uh, yes, I just saw it now. I just oh, saw yeah, it yeah, now. Yeah. So, uh, let, me, let me read. It's giving Nigerian news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh this is from our touche. I believe you wanted to make you wanted us to say your name or so wait, well it's here, sha. You didn't say whether you wanted to be anonymous, so let's move. Um uh -huh. I go to the Bow Stallion and AOT two, the many of many degrees and characters and the only lead researcher I know. Thank you very much. First uh -huh. off, I've been listening to this podcast for over a year now, and what made me keep listening is the synergy between both of you. Thank you. Um uh -huh. You guys are the night wonder of the world. Ah ah, only us. Now wow. <laughs> so concerning CBIC, it to my trip to Badon took a brother away. That's how I helped oh. this Gen Z buddy at the train station in Yaba. We boarded the train and it was like a movie you watch on Netflix. We bonded and little uh, bonded and caught it a little here and there. Took nice pictures together. After we got to Badon, we went our separate ways, but we met again. Cause she honored my IV to the wedding I went for. It was all more times one. This is one million, right? Or ten million or one million. Uh, one million, yes. Just put number for their first two. Now nah, one million, now nah, six zeros. It was a different vibe. Okay. Twenty one versus twenty eight. I didn't feel like old man for the first time in my life. Afterwards, I posted quite a few pictures of us. This unlocked my full potential. Many girls came knocking. So Ayo, do you think that if you use one horse baby gets many babes, or I'm just as hallucinating? Thank you guys for the pod. It helps me get through my nine to five. Thank you very much for sending your fan mail, my brother. Um, I cannot give you this advice because I am not of the world anymore. Thank you. Uh, I am. I wow. am. I am in the Lord. 
I am with the Lord, you know. So I do not want to help the ministry of fornication, wow. adultery, premarital oh, sex, and unwanted pregnancy. Wow. Yeah. But this 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 now negates your esquire your esquire badge. Now you give advice for to the brothers okay. for a little um, if you use one baby, hot baby. If you use one hot baby, get many babes. Yeah, it happens now. Yes, now you use one key to unlock many doors. It happens like that. Now. Okay. And that that depends on it now, you know, depends on what you want to do with them. But yeah, now normal formation. When we're in the world, now the normal formation with that. Mm. Now the, I so said when we're really in the world. You don't really use one babe before. You don't really use one babe, get so many babes before. It's called the triangle of jealousy. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. Yes. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I think there's one, I think there's one <laughs> I think there's one quote that says a thing in possession is always what's more, or I mean, a thing in flight is always more what's more. I can't remember exactly the phrase, but yeah, something about when, when you don't have something, it's just what's way more than when you didn't have it. So mm-hmm. I think it's also just that thing to where sometimes you feel they single, like there's nobody they follow you, talk, or you're just okay. By the time somebody, one person toasts you, like you just be like, they just, you rub new cream. And then now you're now shining, and everybody now wants you're to talk again. to you. <laughs> looking for you. Don't they? Do you understand? You don't they hot or necessarily. I feel like that's just what it is. And I, also, I think it's also that energy of attraction when you know when you started when you started being when you when you're now open to um whatever it is that you're looking for i don't i don't know i think it's personal to everyone whatever you're 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 looking for once once you just like start having when once once your energy is aligned and right with it then you just start to see like oh every other thing just starts to come in you know and it's feeling great and everything's going good ah man yeah maybe it's just that that's really going on and i think enjoy it so because not be every day with the hot so enjoy yes, it Device, yep, yep. according to our <laughs> Nigerian mamas, yeah. I just realized this week or last week, somewhere between this week and last week, that I really am struggling to read. Oh, I know I've said this on the podcast before, but I struggle to read stuff like I can I can be looking at a text and even read sometimes run through it, but I do I don't understand what I just read. I'm just like, you know what? Tired, leave it alone. You know, I don't know. Do you have any tips or tricks? Because I know that like you're consistent. First of all, how do you even write articles and you are reading all the time? That's one. But if you have any tips and tricks to, you know, get my groove back in, I think that, that would be really great. Yeah, I think the easiest way to get back is time yourself. So tell yourself that you want to read for 10 minutes and slowly read. Mm-hmm. Slowly read it mm-hmm. for 10 minutes. And make sure you're not distracted by Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Snapchat, or anything. Because it's social media apps that are killing our attention span for reading. That is the mm-hmm. cuckoo at the end of the day. You read one line, then you just let me check Instagram. Or you check something. And when you start, you know, your focus now becomes, um, you know, scattered everywhere. You can't actually concentrate mm-hmm. on what you are reading. So you actually need to concentrate for like, even if it's 10 minutes a day you are reading, just shut everything down mm-hmm. and read for 10 minutes. I, mean, I try to read mm-hmm. for 60 minutes a day. Some days I do it, some days I don't do it. Maybe some days I do 45 minutes or 15 minutes. Some days I don't even do that at all. Mm-hmm. Well, most days I mm-hmm. try to hit 60 minutes. And you make mm-hmm. sure that, first of all, make sure it's a subject that you're interested in that you really, really want to read about. Yeah to be easier mm-hmm. so you say you want to read that you're reading about nuclear science it's not going to stick there's no how so make sure you read about yeah. what you like first then start timing yourself mm-hmm. give yourself five minutes in the beginning then 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes and from there just it will just become natural for you to start reading every day you just remember oh i'm not ready today so let me go and read that's that's how i do it anyway hmm. okay yeah. I try to incorporate that into the flow of the day. And to be very honest, first of all, like, personally, it's not open social media that distracts me because I don't even really, don't really open the damn thing. I think, okay, huh. so let's, let's put it this way. It might not even be Instagram or Twitter, but WhatsApp messages. And I think maybe uh-huh. I'm this trying to read. Exactly. I, maybe I feel like I'm trying to read at 
a in a in a ter- in, I don't think this is the wrong time, but like this is probably not the best time for me. Um in general as just you know just a person you know I've, my my attention span first is is very limited because like per time i'm always thinking okay what am i supposed to do now yes so this, the distraction is usually in my head right oh i'm supposed yeah. to be doing this right now oh and then i just start and i just remember oh yeah this thing i don't start oh more and i just want to say to everybody who's currently doing a nine to five that is overwhelmed man me too don't worry it's just it's really it can really kick your ass but me too you know like breathe this is me giving myself advice to be honest but like breathe as much as you can um try to have good people around you because um big shout out to my friend ada she has really been saving my life this period um yeah i'm just like hold god because nothing more and this anxiety can really get to you many times but like try to refresh yourself as much as possible take a break take a walk breathe um try to hydrate and eat because i think um, that's also one thing that i'm forgetting to do these days eat right it's, it's just been a lot and so just trying to dense it down to now read it's just like eh the <laughs> line or reason yourself you know the reason yourself deeply now so you just won't do you know but it's just yeah it's it's, it's been up and down oh my you know easy you this adult and i don't tire please when can we take a break there's no when break are we going on holiday unless you want to go back to life. school no that's not it that's even worse that's go back to secondary school oh my god in university, did you guys used to feel in university? Did you guys used to feel like very anxious about CGPA because oh my it lord, to, it was so it was everything. Oh. Jesus Christ! Remember but, when after your exams, you're not gonna check the board, you're gonna check the board. Say so, results mm. are out to you're not gonna check your yeah. matric number. And some even some even people in your class will not know everybody's matric number. So that, that guy don't feel. That guy don't carry over. <laughs> that guy don't carry over. <laughs> so, okay, bro, you don't, you don't, don't bother yourself. Come back next day. Come back next day. What was the thing? People are carrying calculator no. started thinking of or more. This is my GP. So now I have to look for four point course, a five point course. Some people now gonna do French or philosophy as, in as elective so to go and shock. To shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it was mad. It was no, mad, no, no, Jerry. No, no, no. I mean, going back to school is not even an option. And I do believe that there are university students that listen to this podcast. See, make yeah. I tell you true. Just try university. In fact, school is for discipline. School is to help you. Yes, yeah, for discipline, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just to create a schedule and try to stay, you know, on that course. This is not to say that you should not read your book or you should not try to pass and be a stellar, a stellar graduate. But however, see... And I say this because, like, I have university students around me too who are probably also listening to this podcast. You guys, is not real. The real world, nobody at this, especially this Nigeria, we with this. So now, nobody, nobody really you cares you whether you finish with first class or you finish with pass or you finish with third class. First, first, graduate with your mates because now there's the depression, the first, the kicking. Try to just graduate with your mates first and then try as best you can to ensure that you're in a good place grade-wise. But all those ones, they say, hey, if you finish with this one, you will not find work. My dear, the opportunities these days are endless. You can come out and say, it's tech you want to do now. Or you find your passion and then you follow it. But as much as possible, just try to be a decent student, I think. If there's, if there, if there's attendance that needs to be had, go. If there's a test that needs to be done, do it. If there's an exam to write, write it. And just, you know, keep it together, keep it moving. Don't let anybody discourage you. Make you go the fight. They carry on. But I want you to call Expo in Rene. Ah, Chipolo Polo. You used to call it Chipolo Polo. I love Chips. it. Chips. Chips. You call it Chipolo Polo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We used to call, we used to call um, Expo in my school. But I think that, I, uh, that's, that's bullets, basically. Okay. Because I... <laughs> You carry more. Oh, more. Oh, more. That's some exams that I just know that. 
God, there's no how. There's no how. He's going down in the exam hall. No, just if, the, 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 if the letter just tries to break the Voltron, the formation, probably <laughs> they will. Oh God. Eh? I cannot leave this, this place. I have this place. I am sitting at. Oh God, I cannot leave here. I've <laughs> If I live here like it's over, there's problem level, there's trouble. Just it's leave us like this. I remember one exam. I remember yeah. one exam we had. It was about statistics. And first of all, I mean mass communication. Most uh, mass comes yeah, uh, undergrads study mass comp because uh, we thought there was no need for mathematics. Then in three hundred level, they now brought statistics for mass communication. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know that to do the paper. Um, if you see the formation at the back, I love that me. formation was heavy. It was full formation. The lecturer came and said, Ah, I cannot allow this. So, so Aga, please just look away. <laughs> if one person is here today, just look away, sir. Ah, you can't, you can't remove one person. You can't remove one person no. for this place. Well, God's armor is needed. <laughs> <laughs> See, and guess what? Eh? It's also that thing where I mean, I, I do believe that there are people who went through school without having to, you know, do formation or I plenty. hope, yeah, formation plenty. or you know, carry expo or all those things. But see, when did when the dice cast <laughs> and, and see and life and death is before your eyes? You have to make yeah, a decision. Carry over. What to do? Yeah, it carry over. You are frost like this. Uh, you <laughs> beg. In view. You beg. In mm. view of a carryover, <laughs> and this one now in university, I'm hearing that they're not doing CBT tests in the system. Oh, <laughs> so I'm real. Technology. Oh, I swear, just give us example, <laughs> paper, maybe we'll write it. I swear, give us exam paper, maybe we write too. I don't know that one. See, maybe mm. you understand. We used to write exams um, because I studied hydrobiology. We used to write exams sometimes, like in the lab, right? My God, yes. if you see. Shout out to everyone who was in biological sciences 20, 2009 photo. <laughs> if you see, we go there on top. You know, biology, you know how labs can be now with the high tabletops and chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see, somebody don't see, say, um, uh, this thing don't choke it. <laughs> they, just, they, just, they just go under the table, pa, 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 ro, 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 go and plant themselves where they need to be and go and continue writing there. Oh. Exams used to be too funny. Now ah. I can laugh about it, but back then, <laughs> back then, we we'll do or die. You, God, I beg. Do or die. Do the one that trips me, the one that trips me is when you see the exam timetable. You know, know yes, mm -hmm. it's about to go down. You know, be meeting people. I beg. I is your note? Is your note complete? <laughs> Ask for the copy. All, <laughs> all the all the business centers in school that mm -hmm. period we buzz all, all, the all their photocopy machines. Yeah, they clean out. Bought. Then do clean now. No, normally. Eh? Then you don't say, oh, we're going, you don't say we're going for study. What's that? A study group or whatever they say they do at study night. Uh, uh, night class. Night, night, night class. Uh, night class. I didn't go for Jack. There was one night class I went for. Really? After like 1 a.m. No, after like 1 a.m. I said, bro, now two are the comic books. I know I'm coming out with two. two. See, if I have your no, B in this I'm course, so I'm fine. There's no need again. I'm I can't okay. keep myself. I can't keep myself. I need you to go and sleep. Ah, ah, my book one read. Nobody say we we'll can't fight the one. Ah, ah, I know we we'll can't sleep again. Like, ah, no, 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 I think, no. I don't know. I don't know whether it was my fourth year or my third year. There's one night class I went for. Normally, I know they go. The last, the first night class I ever went to, and I never went again, was my first year. And after that, I was like, you know what? Night reading is not for me, maybe, and I will go and sleep. Mo, that's how they gave me coffee. Or they say make me drink coffee. They say we they go night class, my day. Plus blankets, plus biscuits, plus chewing gum, plus street. Everything we carry for back. Okay, my <laughs> dear, I wish the the classroom like this set up nice. Brought out the book. Bah! That's how I slept till four a.m. Okay. when everybody was going back to the hostel. Eh? Yeah, One no. thing like this, I decided. Thank you yourself. God. I never went to that night class again. Which won't be all those night class. But shout out to those people who actually go for night class and study hard. Um, oh, did they try? You guys those are ones the real Now, there's all guest scholarships. No, no, no. Not people like us. Do you I understand? Oh, God. Because ah, 
we know you won't struggle that struggle again. No, that night casting. Mm? No, see, after my final, you for class. After my final paper, I said, ah, before me and school see each other again, they go, hey, if ever. Uh, they go, hey. I want to go back to school, though, actually. Um, and this is me just putting it out there in the world. Um, I Especially this week, I really... Uh, um. I played a lot. No, no, I don't want to say I played with the mindset, but I really thought about going back to school. Um, I feel very, and this is me now from being vulnerable and being honest, but I feel very stuck in my career. I know that um, in terms of progression, anyone who has watched my progression will say, oh, she's doing great and everything. And I think that, I think that that's also the reality. However, it just feels like I'm... Um, I'm stuck in a certain level for too long and I'm tired of it. Um, I think saying this also, big shout out to Women's Space. Uh, they had made me the um, cover subject for their match, um, their match magazine cover. Okay. Um, yeah, I th- that was so good. Like, I, it was literally the silver lining for me this week. I'm, it really made me so happy in all the in all the chaos and everything. It was it was such a it was such a good feeling to see that, especially understanding that like it was merited. I didn't have to do anything um, out of because this in my media space I don't understand still. So Some people are going above and beyond, but yeah, <laughs> it was really good to just see that out of merit that came. But personally, I've just also just been thinking I want to do a master's. I don't know how I'm going to go about it just yet, but I I do think that that's something that I'm looking towards. It's just really it's really daunting for me that at this time in my life and in my career I'm still experiencing certain things, and this is not for a lack of um, not putting in the work or anything. It's just like you're putting in the work, but you're not seeing the kind of results that you expect. And I don't even know if it's yeah. going to happen this year or next year, you know. But yeah, I'm really considering, um, yeah, going back to school, even if not to study anything um, related to what I'm what I'm currently doing or maybe even related to, but yeah, looking towards like going to one of the best business schools in the world, if that's possible, oh, really. Oh, that's what I want. Really. Have a business um, school. Do you get what I mean? My f- a friend of mine is currently in London Business School, and I remember just reading an article, um, like one of her work, um, her coursework um, projects, or uh, no, 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 I think it was research work. And I was just like, the amount of information you you won't have access to already empowers you just because of the kind of first of the sort of um, caliber of um, university um, I don't want to say institution that you know you're studying at and then the kind of people you also then have conversations with in the same room I think that's a network that I really am looking forward to um, yeah. as a business development and salesperson relationship is everything for me and just also learning. And just also understanding how those relationships can be um, um, beneficial to you at different times is also very important. So, yeah, just putting it out there in the world. And I hope that I actually work towards this. not one of those things I will say I will do and I will not do, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But I really want to do that. But, yeah. yeah My that's state nice. of mind. I don't know. It's how many I say they struggle to read. And I mean, still won't go back to school. God, I beg. She, I know they want myself. Like, Please, help. I also plan on going back Please when go I have first. the time. When I have the time, I, I plan on going Love back. It. It's, it's not about it, it might be practical, intensive, not uh, uh, uh-huh, book, uh-huh. book, book. No, I don't do no. Me, uh-huh, I read uh-huh. books. We are done. We are done. I, I tried in because... primary school, secondary school, and university. I'm done reading. Thank you. Of course. I, I think definitely, especially with the years of experience, those also, that's also like fact that also counts and it also you know matters in the conversation. But you know, they say as long as you're alive, you, you never stop learning. Um, every day, you, you really they learn because the things where I don't use my IC these past few days, like you say, God, I beg, please, it oh God, it you understand? It, it really took it. <laughs> it yeah. took it took so much. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I okay. know what's been happening in my because I know that you know what has been happening. 
Uh, let's start with X of the week first or tweet of the week. Which other okay. one, whichever okay. one you guys prefer. So this tweet is actually uh, funny since last week was salary week for many people. And this tweet goes <laughs> thus. Admiring your complete salary for a few hours before putting it through trials and tribulations. Trials and tribulations. <laughs> you know, if you ever collect your salary <laughs> for salary earners, you can look at it, you're like, yeah, this is nice. Then the sad part comes when you have to start you have to bring a knife and start cutting it and cutting it and when you finish cutting it there's nothing left again you just have to eat your humble pie maybe you only have one week of flexing after that one week um, uh, back to the grind again uh. back to budgeting in let me just oh. put it out I'm sick and tired of yeah, you don't work, because you don't work, in, you don't work in America now so you will, you will enjoy this Naira you will enjoy it no no worry, very soon. Now when I when I get my foreign my foreign currency gig, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna let you know so that and the Naira is fighting back. The Naira is fighting back. One five now. We don't one five to one six. Ah, uh, Omo. I don't know the magic way Kadoso they do for there, but it be like say you don't they work. It's not Kadoso, it's Kadi B. It's Kadi B. <laughs> I love it. Please, if you can, if I, I think ideally, if we can even get, if we can get to, and this is not us being greedy at this point, but if we can actually get to five hundred, I think that oh. that'll be good. That'll be. Oh good. no, I doubt. Ah. This one five me okay and it go. Wow. Because most analysts already I, uh, said that. See? Most analysts yeah. already said that the Naira is hitting two thousand this year. So this one that we are doing is one five. Oh, you know, if it lasts, just say okay, no whole, no you don't whole body. After another dirty December like this, I everything see. goes crack. Two K straight off. It'd be like say, like say you don't even go fast. If December long, long way half of no. the year never even reach. I'm sure yeah, like really it's full of surprises. Mm -hmm. It could be right around the corner. We feel the that we feel the project that December, but see if it be next week. It can be next week. Do you understand? I don't even know how Nigerians are managing to keep sane in this period. Away from oh, it's yes, it's hot. The mm -hmm. Tell me, see, most Nigerians are That's already simple. mad. We just don't know it. We're already mad. We don't just know it. You've it gone is. mad. We don't just know it. it you know, a madman is the last person that knows he's mad. A madman is the of last course. person that knows he's mad. So we're already mad. We don't just know it. It's when we go abroad, I will not say our behavior doesn't make sense to how normal people do things. You know, like, ah, I've been mad all this time. I just realized. So, you know, the interesting thing, right? So, um, a friend of mine, um, my friend Ada had, uh, I don't call Ada name two times for this podcast. In case you know my friend Ada, then that's great. Mm -hmm. My friend of hers, that like, just returned from the UK, like for, to get married and just like to see her family as well. Disclaimer, I now hear that when, when babes or when people come back from the abroad to Nigeria, it's typically because they want to come and marry and go back. We're not mad at that, mm. to be honest. But it's that's not a problem. Um, do you know what I mean? And so we're having a conversation, and you know, she was just talking about how you no know, more organized um, the system was, is abroad and all of that. And she she was very she was very honest to point something out to see. Like obviously, there's no perfect system, right? Every system has its own problems, own glitches. It's just like the mentality you approach the, the system with, right? That many times, um, a lot of Nigerians or some Nigerians don't have a plan when they are relocating. They just want to relocate. They just want to escape yeah, the country. Yeah. You know, and all of that. Exactly. And they just go into another man's country and they, they are distracted by um, the things that naturally they're also suffering here in Nigeria. So um, I know that it's, it can't necessarily be likened to, but um, I mean, around off the heels of um, um, what's the word segregation in a sense. So there's racism, but in Nigeria there's tribalism, right? So you mm -hmm. go to another man's country and you are there complaining about, oh, this is how they're behaving to me. This is not how they're behaving to me. As opposed to like trying to find a way to um, make the system work for you so that you can excel. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, fair point, you know. Um, and, and I can say almost it's very similar for Nigeria. There are some people who have hacked the system here in a sense. Yes. Uh, well, well, um, well, well. 
thing is, we're in a constant dilemma and in a constant um, cycle of comparison with um with the Western world. But maybe it's about time we actually even looked at ourselves and be honest with ourselves and stop trying to create these structures because you know, because of what Jack Bar has done to us, you know, because Jack Bar has happened, right? We're always consistently comparing Nigeria to every other country of the world. And it's about, we, we have to get a point, to a point where we sit with ourselves to say, okay, this is our reality. This is who we are. So how do we make this work? Because that's one thing that like is really, I, I, I feel that's one factor, just even having that, that conversation that I find that, is also missing in in Nigeria. We we are always consistently oh look at this country, look at that country. Oh let us go to this country. But like, what about who we are as people? We are very we're very um what's the word? We're very communal people. We're very much in each other's businesses, you know. And you know sometimes it can come it can rob you of wrong, but also it's sometimes also beautiful just to have people checking in on you, you know. If you know get food for us, you go fish in but we go give you food chop. You get what I mean? Uh, not um, now. I just, just, that's not um, now. Come on now. People see day. I, ah, I, I don't know. Country. Yeah. I go lock my door. I don't have food. We are in farming. We are in the public farming. We <laughs> can bring the plague. Elijah. Okay, is okay. the friend of Elijah. Where there's farming in the land of Israel. I love it. Please don't close your door if you have. Hey, God bless you. This conversation of length that we even had last week. So I, I have. Are we still length? Because length is not really length. This length is not lengthy. <laughs> it's length. They were still in length. Um, I know who knows this is my own length. They go, but God, I beg, still on still. So I have. Um, I have a parish, a, a, a friend who is a priest, and he had reached out to me because. Interestingly, he listened to the podcast. God, I beg. Okay. All the things where I don't see now, so they go catch me for church. God, I beg. Anyway, um, and he had reached out to me to just even like sort of buttress on, um, length and you know this the, the the you know and fasting basically, and he was he was he made sure to point out to me that, um, for the Catholic Church. And this is to the question that I think that came in the fan mail, not not the one that um, Ajabot Sweets asked. Hey, girl. Mm -hmm. um, but like, that's people just even like talking about Lent and fasting, right? So the Catholic Church is not really bent on um, you fasting from food, first of all. Let's start with that. Nobody really, the, 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 the focus is not on whether you're fasting from food or the focus is on. First of, like the state of mind that you're in, and also the in the consumption of then the eating of the food. You know, some yeah. people now they feel fast from six to six for evening, and they'll carry a mountain of food and eat. Um, but the Catholic, the Catholic Church is also very—I don't want to say flexible, but it's also very um, um, what's it called? It's also very uh, what's the word? I'm actually missing it. It's also very conscious of the fact that. The season of Lent is about giving, right? So if normally mm -hmm. you eat five five kg of rice morning, afternoon, evening, how about you reduce it to zero point five kg or use one kg or you know, and then give the rest to the people around you? That's also a way of fasting, as opposed to you eat full load of food maybe after starving for a long time in the day also you know if you have also or you have any health issues that um um that might not allow you actually have a food fast yeah. then advise that like your spiritual fast or something but definitely giving arms and just like reducing the portion of things and sharing with the people around you is also very important so it's not just um, I'm going to keep the food till evening and then eat the whole thing. But I can have little portions through the day and then share the rest to the people around me. That's a more um, rounded way to look at it. Um, but yeah, it's not just about food and all of that. And we did have the conversation about, you know, um, Catholics joining the Hallelujah Challenge. But I think I'll just bring that up another time because... Um, he, had, he, was, he was yet to listen to that episode and wanted to like... 
probably just touch base on that but we haven't done that yet but basically um yeah that's what the the catholic doctrine is as regards um fasting during lent so yeah if you've been starving yourself all through try to not just only um starve yourself but like just reduce your portions share with people pray for other people as well because it's also part of the lenten observance um yeah pretty much i think that i yeah. think that's what i wanted to add thank god yeah. i didn't forget that like so, me yeah. this. so ladies and gentlemen so please try and fast too. seek the face of okay. the lord is it cbic is it mm-hmm. that is fasting or i'm fasting yeah. now really tell me about yes. it i'm fasting that's all i can tell you i'm fasting and it's not food that's all i can see okay yes. uh, but what a, t- give me an idea what, what I are you know, fasting i, I know you tell you past that idea that's the only idea it's not food finish <laughs> you get one person who reach out to me for instagram he tell me say make i tell you say he, he's a cbsc member but he has derailed <laughs> oh you don't have my guy you don't have Call for counseling. There are too many Jezebels out there. Too many Jezebels. So please call for counseling. Please call for counseling. The bodies are hot. Yes. So this is a perilous time. These bodies are moving like it's, the world is about to end. So please call for counseling. We'll give you the new strategies of Jezebel and her descendants. I love it. But talk about it here. Give us two of the strategies so that we can no, know we what to expect. The congregation will know what to expect on the next meeting. Oh, first of all, reduce your your. They said if your your eye um, causes you to to commit sin, you do what you pluck it out. <laughs> See, Instagram, Twitter, all those places are their workshop. That that playground be that. Mm. Minimize your time there. Right. Clean, cleanse your feed. Cleanse your feed. Mm. Uh-huh. And reduce the amount of time you spend there. That is one. Two, look for something that will occupy your time that is productive to you. Because if you go on uh-huh. Instagram, you say, ah, ah, "Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not checking them again." It will shock you that your hand will go to that. Your hand will go to that handle, and you will not be staring and ugly. And before you know it, you are giving somebody two hundred k. You've not seen that before. Uh-huh. Hey, money that can give your mother, uh-huh. your father. Hi, or give somebody. Hmm. Man, not, man, not tell you men don't do. See, it's very easy to collect money man, from man. It's easy to collect money. All, all this money I do, I'm a man of value. Mm. Now, see, you're not, you're not better than Samson. You're not greater than Samson in the Bible. You're not greater than David. The Bible says, said David was a man after God's heart. But if David, so. see, he love if David see, David see one lucky body like this, ah, uh, forget him. It's gone. It's gone. I don't go. I you go it. knock your babe. You go knock your babe. He's so please, <laughs> yeah. So I beg in the name of God, reduce, reduce all the time you spend on the, on online. That is what that's one of the key things. I look for things that can occupy your time. I mean, they know they come out now. They can't come outside too because the bodies are on the streets. So they, no. what are they gonna do about that? No, it depends. It depends. If you are living in a corridor now, where your body one day, which body they are corridor? Ah, which you mean? You never see uh, the uh, trenches bodies now for that, you. You don't know that it. Money. Also collect your money too now. So there's no there's no point. It's not yeah, just be productive this thing. So know how you go, you know how you walk out for streets. They said the devil is running <laughs> to and through the world he like a lion. Him. Looking for who to devour. Yes, roaring, so, roaring lion. These girls, you see they are human beings. If you use your spiritual eyes, they be lion. They go chop your they go chop your flesh. Uh-huh. Before you know now, you'll be giving one in Kichi for there and fifty K. You hunger will catch you at all. You, you collect gifts to a human being for 50k. Uh-huh. <laughs> Breast, you don't see. Pants, you don't see. I know. Uh-huh. So please, be guided, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Be guided, ladies and gentlemen. Have you seen that meme? Have you seen Which that one? meme that said, when I say, when I don't do that, if I don't do that, if I don't say, when I don't do that. Which one? What is that? You should know, circle. You should know, you should know for... Say, is it that uh, one? It says, be like, when I don't do that, if I don't do that, if I don't do that, Oh, two babes, Abby. Say why? Uh, yeah. Say why? Yeah. Hair. Say why? Yes, hair. I'm bag full everywhere. Even nah. I say when I don't do that, they will do. Say when I they do. The reason why that thing was so sensitive because Odumodu touched a raw nerve. He, we know, we know. Ah, uh, uh, we know now. There's no way. And I won't lie to you guys. I won't lie to you. 
there are some babes yeah. that you see uh-huh. eh? when you see them a voice will uh-huh. tell you pay for this girl's wig you will see some girls like that no, yeah. no, no, no. they see that's why you know that as you have a guardian in there you have a guardian demon uh-huh. inside you you say pay for how much is okay. it 250 uh uh-uh, uh, you have like 800k account, put like 250. Uh-uh. You two don't want to flex before you know you don't buy a week for one. You're like, um, see that body hair is working on an above now. Is how much now? 50 no day again. No. Eh? How, much is is here? Again. how much is here? One M. Uh, uh-uh, now the palaf. 800. Now the palaf are the good friend. Now the palaf are the good friend. Now the palaf. Natural team, natural. You see, I'll do like Moses Bliss. I'll go to Ghana. I'll go to Ghana. <laughs> natural here. Yeah. We are not doing any artificial shit. Artificial is of the devil. Is of the devil. See, Please, team that's, natural. That's not true. But a good, but a good hair, good hair is actually you know amazing because like you use it for years and it wouldn't mm. even look like you've had it for that long. Guys, so you take good care. Guys. Of if your eye commits you to sin, please pluck your eyes away. Nobody should say that ah, I'm a strong man. You're not strong. I'm telling you. Hmm. You never see women. See, there's a woman that if they walk in front of you like this, you're gone. Say like they all walk in front of you, your life is over. It can never be the same again. Yes. Unless your mother comes women to come and pray. Hmm. Period. Women are pure magic, honestly. Okay. You don't see when. And you say if you don't talk. Yes, you man, know it's the fact. Because if you form, if the moment you form that ah uh-uh, is woman, I can know. Then we just say you okay, don't worry. Uh, they go dispatch one to you. When they dispatch Queen of the Coast to you, you go know how far. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be begging with your life. You'll be begging. Please, six hundred k. He said, I, I can give you six hundred k. Please, you know your life. Mm. See, the one they really they pay me the most now is that skincare product is expensive. Uh, that is the sorry. one that really touched me because me. how my Jo. Oh, uh, what is it called? With my own facial cream, I know they use it again. Now, once they blow, now they don't kill themselves. First of all, the heat is too much. I mean, by the time I go I out, I'm not going to the gym. What do you say? I'm going back to the gym. Excuse you, you notice that your gym is trending on Twitter. Oh, you've not been on you've not been on online. <laughs> now you guys are protesting. Uh, uh, I heard though. Somebody my, my yeah. friend actually told they debited somebody's account. Yeah, a very popular person. That annual fee. Now so Nigeria just start just carry on for head. I even saw it on one news website. I say, Wow. Okay. It's all good. See, it's all good. But so personally. Personally, right, I think this has not debited my accounts before. I think that I removed my cards last year because what was happening was that on my, you know, they have the app, the, the, the gym, gym master app. app. Yeah, gym master that, app. Uh-huh, uh-huh, gym master app, you know. And I realized that when I wasn't going to the gym anymore, because, you know, last year I stayed away, like, I was away from the gym for four months. Yeah. And when I opened my app, I noticed that they had accumulated some for me there. Like yeah. they, had, they had like over two hundred k. I said, "Thank God, my card no day. If no one has one for the debit the money." Mm-hmm. When, when I, I now went back, me. yeah, continue. Mm, when I went, don't forget what you're about to say. Yeah. When I went back to the gym to to now do a new subscription, that's how somebody was said. The person there was now telling me, eh. Uh, that I need to clear that I need to pay the debt that I owe. I say I owe nothing. Go and check my records. She be gym master is to sign into into the mm-hmm. gym when you come. Check it. You saw me Did the sign this amount of money yeah. I put in is put in there. I didn't come to the gym, so how am I going to pay for something? I think also another thing is customer service. Some oh. people also who are who are manning the desks at these gyms, they don't have like full information. I don't know who yeah, yeah, yeah. to blame for that, whether it's the people standing there or the management. But sometimes they don't have full circle information. They treat your matter very late. Be like, say they, they now then give you the money you put for your account. Oh, I don't even get it. I really don't get it. You know, I heard the story and I was like, this is this is a lot of people right now in Nigeria with with eye fitness, and it doesn't encourage people to put their cards on anywhere. Nigerians yeah. are afraid. This is why on online banking, I be online shopping is also very difficult in Nigeria oh. because when you carry card put for there, you just see one person 
because you don't give them access to to debit your card one time it now becomes commonplace and you just you be seen debit your your money. Yeah. do you understand what i mean which kind of life you those ones when money no day i be decreased nothing could be ask me say if you want to make this payment or you don't want to make this payment <laughs> you, want to say you, you just carry your hand in my pocket say, Chris. which kind of life be this <laughs> don't do that well, it's when I was doing eye fitness, I made sure I put I I clicked on the option of saying I don't want to come again at all at all at all. Although they debited eh? me that day, yeah, they still said no. Really? You are going to give it your money. Yeah, they still did. I'm like, well, okay. If this is what you want to take, take. Bye bye. It's all good. Yeah, but understand the online banking wow. in Nigeria is so very what is, very. What was the money they? I have no idea. I can't even remember. Honestly. Online remember. payment systems very fucking shady. Mm. Like that's why I wanted to buy perfume. Them. Yeah, I wanted to buy perfume. Mm -hmm. I bought the perfume on the site. Mm -hmm. I did it. You know, normally it will not tell you. Oh, it's supposed to give you like a like something like an online receipt that shows that you've paid, right? Mm -hmm. like you've paid, or it will mm -hmm. show your it will show your what do you call it basket something something whatever. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're not sure anything. No? You know, show anything, ah. and then and they don't receive debit alert. I can't define, so I didn't even receive debit alert. It didn't show in the bank app again. It would not felt like a ghost transaction. Mm -hmm. I just knew that my money had reduced because mm -hmm. I could see the overall sum. Um, on I started, to, I started to chase money mm -hmm. again. Thankfully, this brand is, a, is the most oh, popular wow. brand. What got perfume is one of the most popular brands. There's now then they sell perfume parts mm -hmm. from Lagos. They now said, Okay, they'll check it on their end, and they ah, checked it. And they confirmed, I, the move now, I, I tell God, it starts with an E, don't bother yourself. It's not them, you should know them by now. Ah, I see my brain with the boots, but okay, we're oh. talking, we discuss in camera, yes, in camera. <laughs> so, so now when I have to do online purchase, I always say, God, please, who I they pray, I they pray with Gora oil and uh -huh. candle. Say, this transaction was going to Jesus because your money hand. Mm, they will use to do ping pong. Let me see that that money hanging, yes. But she see double debit. Hey. Oh classic. That, that's the one you prayer and fasting over because how I do that's me and Uber. Times that's me and Uber. Ah. Yo, yeah, ping ping. Office, yeah, no man, Zenith don't know me already. I go don't reply to yeah. Zenith. People are do double debit. <laughs> I just say moment again. I don't say I don't reach out to Uber. You people have told me twice, so please deal with it. And normally, to be fair to them, in three or four days, it returns back. It comes back. That's how you invest your money. Uh -huh. Yes. You better yes. Out, because no use anybody coins play now because as we did mm. now, everybody, they hot. Everywhere mm. is hot. Everywhere Literally, is hot, The country is it's hot. hot. The economy is hot. Yeah, yeah? so. Hmm. Everywhere is burning no hot. Way. Yeah. Let's... I we, saw... We I saw... By, so, okay, continue. Before before you go into we go into the talking points, but I saw one statistic that Lagos is the most traffic prone, a uh, heavy prone, king traffic something something of the world. I say wow, oh, it's possible. That's where they will see. It. But I saw a list that Number said the six, well, there's a list I saw this week or last week. The uh -huh. cities with the worst traffic, like top five cities uh -huh, with the worst uh -huh. traffic, and Lagos was not there. Eh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Apparently, there are some cities that have it way worse, and these are cities that have better planning than Lagos. That if you enter hold up there, mm. Omo, now you're on gold. Now you're well, on I gold. Think. But please, Lagos now has train. We have second train now. We have red line. So now the mm. traffic should be reducing small, small. The traffic should be reducing small, small. We hope so. We hope that the traffic is going to reduce. Yeah. And we hope that the trains work efficiently and they work long. Amen. That's the key prayer. Amen. Amen. Because we know they maintain something. A prayer where they use the support them. At all. So at all. They prayer and fasting. And go your oil. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. There's only one topic that I'm here to talk about today that's really of any uh, consequence. And that's the um the legendary Mr. Mr. Ibu of Nollywood fame passed away during the week. On oh, Saturday, on Friday. On Saturday, on Saturday night, I saw the mm -hmm. message. I was outside. I was enjoying myself, and I just saw the message. I was like, wow, okay, Mr. Ibu. Obviously, we all know Mr. Ibu, um, the funny comedian, mm, yeah. comedy, comic actor, 
has had a few he had had health challenges for his last two or three years um the last development we had was that you know he had to be amputated due to complications from diabetes um, and other things and you know that saturday it was announced that he died from blood blood clotting i think and other issues and his death rattled rattled the industry you know everybody came out to to, 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 to grieve with the family from the president to governor of Lagos State to everybody that you can imagine, you know. And he's a, this is a is a huge loss for Nollywood because when you're talking about one of the naturally funny people on camera is Mr. Ibu. Uh-huh. Mr. Ibu will show up in a scene, yeah. not say a word, and you are already laughing. You are already Boston. laughing. Yeah. Then now imagine him in a movie with Sam Loco Efe, also rest in peace. Is, is golden. You don't even need a you don't even need a script in that kind of movie. Just freestyle and people will be laughing. Freestyle. He was naturally What's yeah, okay. he was naturally talented and gifted and he was quite young. So it's just sad to see that yeah. you know, another great actor has left us. Um and then we yeah. wish his family like you know the, the, the fortitude to bear the loss. We wish them in, in our prayers and yeah. everything. And uh, yeah, it's sad to see yeah. man one big comic actor has gone. That's a huge Iroko tree. That has left Nollywood. Yeah. Yeah. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 Also, amen. during the that week. Is so um, okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. Let me just add this point. Also, um, during Please. the week, a, a few days before he died, another Yoruba actor died. His name is Isi Kodri. Anybody who knows the oh, Yoruba yeah, movie industry so well, he passed away. Um, people said he didn't have like health challenges. Just maybe a few days he complained that he was tired and he was not feeling fine and he mm. passed away. The sad thing about his own is that he was in a Nicola Cody series and he acted as a ghost in that movie. Oh, wow. He died and acted as a ghost in that wow. series, which makes him more spooky and airy. Like it's 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 unfathomable, man. Like wow. when I was when I was watching a Nicola Cody series, I was like, wow. Talk about how art now imitates life. So you've already that's watched another... it, Sly. No, it's just like I'm not finished now. Just three episodes I watched now. There are six episodes, three episodes. Sarah is back, oh. but yeah. Anyway, um, before we go to into eh? Anikola, before we go to Anikola, uh, we we'll go to your thoughts on <laughs> your thoughts on Mr. Evil before we jump into Remy and Co. Cool. We're not going into any Anikola because I've not watched it. I know we don't even say that we even watch it though. Yeah, very okay, well. sorry. We have not talking about sorry, it. Not spoiling sorry. So eh? that was spoiling because from, from the beginning, that was it. He's in the, he's in the poster now, so you knew he was coming back. He was in the poster, he's coming back. He had to come back. Um, but I I've seen I've seen the poster and I've seen the trailer, and I never still watch them. But yeah, you watch don't him. go watch them, so we go no, when, when I, I watch them. Three. I watched three. And people are saying that the other, the, the last three episodes are even gang So, the first three are just like you know, well, let's warm up, let's warm up. And um, when I watch it, then um, I will now tell you. Uh, I will not tell you. We can then talk about it. But but you were asking me to to give my own feedback as regards Mr. Ibo. Oh yes, your yeah, share um, your thoughts on Mr. Ibo. It's really sad to to um to watch or see people who have like you know ha- who have done like monumental things or had had monumental achievements in their career you know and through the course of their life like pass away um but i think that always reminds us of how fickle life is um and that's why what you know people say oh try to live your life and try to try to create memories with people as much as you can. I think it was such a blessing that he he didn't he wasn't just only following a passion for him a, a passion that he had, but he also lived it full circle, right? He he was a comedian through and through and he loved it and it was just so good to see him um thrive and excel in in that part of you know that he had chosen for himself. And now just now knowing that Mr. Ibu is no more, I remember seeing him one time at Apple Junction, um, Mega Chicken, first time. Okay. There's one estate there, green something. Yeah, I, I saw him there. He was on the street there. 
you know, and he was just was actually just being funny, you know, talking. He was talking to somebody, and you know, it, it felt like for a second, then this was, ha, huh, maybe this was like the early two thousands. This should be like two thousand and ten, two thousand and eleven. And he was he was having a conversation with somebody, and he was just being funny. And I remember passing him that day and laughing. And you know, he said hello, and it was nice and everything. And just now thinking that that same person is no more, it really, I don't know. Life is really so fickle, you guys. I can't explain. If it's just really sad, um, it's also yeah. very sad that um, as Nigerians, we also don't like. I don't want to say immortalize people, but yeah, there's really no, there's really no, we don't really keep records. It's almost like when a person dies, just like keeps going. Um, it's just yeah. hey, who now who remember you go remember you. Do you get what I mean? Um, I really do pray for his family and all his loved ones who he has left behind because those are the people who would genuinely feel it the most. I pray that you know they really they they you know they they are, they are able to bear the loss of this, and I pray that they also have help come to them, in, you know, and comfort too, in all the ways that um they they require or need that, and also just speaking about death this week had also seen uh um um. Niger- well, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to say just access bank staff, but like Nigerians also had had to come, you know, um, had had to come together to um, mourn the loss of Herbert Mwigwe and just seeing, just seeing all the amazing things people had to say about him. Um, Dangote Dangote had spoken about his mentee and friend. And you know, had even now dedicated like the road leading to the refinery, to yeah. to, her, to the memory of her. Degree. But just like that whole, it's just been a really I don't know, I don't know whether the word to use is dark, but and I don't want to jinx it or anything. But it's just been a very, it's been a hot time in Nigeria. Let me put it that way. Back to back loss. It's not easy, and I see people. I don't know how we push forward. But it does leave it does leave a mental a mental strain on you know on everyone I, I imagine well I will speak for myself it does leave a mental strain on me because you're here thinking about the next deadline you want to meet and uh, how you want to achieve this how you want to achieve. see in a second all that could disappear whether you want it or you don't want it whether you act on it or you don't act on it death is inevitable and it will happen to each and every one of us when i say be kind it's really just because like the lives and souls that you impact are the people who remember you whether you go and do whether the deadline was met or it wasn't met nobody really cares at the end of the day right it's the relationships it's the bonds that you have yeah. formed it is the way that you've lived your life that people remember you for and i just really hope that this 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 loss we're experiencing also gives us a wake up call as people. How are we living our lives? What's the quality of life that we're living, you know, in this country as people? Because every day we just they live day by day, day by day. Now everything we just they do, we not even they pay attention, you know. It's crazy, oh ah, God I beg. Me say if I don't yeah, even really mentally check out of of this Q one, say if I don't tire. I'm actually tired <laughs> of Q one. I'm tired of. If you I just have, come and go. Mm-hmm. I have um I follow a Twitter account that uh-huh. um tracks the year according to percentages. So okay. as of today, That's interesting. you know, the day we are recording this, 18% of the year has gone. We have 299 days remaining. So in case you guys have any oh, yearly God. goal, this is what gingers me every morning. When I see them like shit. 80% has gone already. We have 299 days before the end of the year. Come on. Let's let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Uh, it's good to number my, days. My, as this. Yeah. Yeah, let's say something. I just say, now you, they put the pressure now where they talk about me we say, no, no put pressure. Now you, you don't they put pressure now. You know why? Of the year. You know why? why? Because before you why? know it, December 31st is here. For who see him now? Now who they alive go see December thirty? Uh, I mean yes, all all things be equal. For you know it now, you are in church doing watch night service. I now 
And I say, oh, I didn't do this. I didn't do this here. I didn't do this here. So yeah. we don't have, we can't take every day for granted. We just have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing to reach our goals. I don't even know what to say now because which which kind see I've checked out all pretty much I do have goals that is not to say I don't have goals or anything but it's just like what does it really profit a man if, if he loses the world and loses yeah. his life what does, what mm. does it profit preach it preach it um, but is it true though because yeah, true, now sure. we are here we will be we will be there chasing goals. We'll be forgetting the things that really matter. Your family. Yeah, it, this doesn't mean friends. this doesn't mean you should neglect your family and friends. So take time out to relax and chill, and you know catch up with friends and love and, and you love them at the end of the day. And breathe too, because you know breathe, you faint, and if you faint, now that was me to know they they know they admit people will faint too, unless you have police reports. <laughs> see, I don't know. Did you, did you see that video? I think it was somewhere in Calabar where um, people were being electrocuted. Like Why? the floor, the ground yeah. was shocking people and they were, they, they, they were actually dying. Like, I not now, I don't want to see that. See, I saw that video, I think two or three days ago on social media. Yeah. I just closed the app and I left because why? I can't watch that. First I'm of sorry. all, do you get what I mean? First of all, you see people that are being electrocuted. Somebody carried stone and was stoning them. How? Uh, maybe thought the stone would knock them off so that they will get off the. I don't know the logic. When you already know the person here, yeah, that's you. I want to. Eee. Eee. You yeah, spoke yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Eee. You were stoning the guy, and he was being. He was on. The, you know how you know as electric they take the shock person high voltage. He just, the person was stuck there. And you, it's a, you know, you want to hit the person away. It's that you carry stone, the stone now. It was so painful to watch. Because, and, and it just drew my attention to, remember when we were growing up, there used to be a lot of conversations about Red Cross. Yeah. Even in camp now, all the um, new Otondos that should be coming out of camp soon, if they're not out already, they have Red Cross in camp. What happened to Red Cross? Because basic, just basic knowledge of, you know, basic health knowledge. Like we don't even get them again for this country. We don't. We don't have those conversations anymore. Because how are you seeing somebody that has been educated and you carry stone and stone the person? So that what mm. will happen? No, it was oh, wow. really painful to watch. I. That's gold. I, no, no, no. It was really nasty. Like about three or four men. One, one was in the gutter being a little. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It was nasty. I was like, eh. And then you carry stone to stone them. Ah, my God. Weird, man. Weird. God help us. Anywho, uh, I think that's our highlights for the week. Uh, it's raining now. I'm surprised. Shout out for the rain for drop coming soon. Moving on. Uh, no release therapy today. You guys don't want to release. So, uh, pause. So, we'll do the honors of going to flop of the week and prop of the week. I love um flop of the week a very funny story um happened our senators our lawmakers in abuja could not continue their session because there was no electricity there was no electricity and i think their generator became faulty so they had to wait in the dark until power was restored for them to resume their session and i'm so happy this happened to them this is group this is a group of people that want on their mind, I want them to suffer. Like, if I wish suffering yeah. on people, it will be Nigerian yeah. electoral leaders, especially those in the chambers, in the upper chambers. Yeah. May your days be hot. May the days that you are looking for, for comfort and cold, you will see heat yeah. in Jesus' name. Honestly, that day you, be, you do right by the... Yes. You will look for light and you will be seeing darkness in Jesus' name. That is the only yes. prayer I can pray for this set of people. Because I do not know their oh, value wow. to the nation. I do not know their contribution yeah. to the nation. I just know that they drive around in brand new jeeps and they tell they just crack jokes and move on. I don't think they are very useful That's to Nigerians. Very funny yeah. people. And they dance. And they dance too. That's I'm happy that our national that. shame was outside this period. That they do not have lights in the whole big ass national complex. Even as one small, I better pass my gener- generator. I love you. I don't know you could donate. We're not going to join out, join out together and it's not because of the big generator. Well, since you people are blockheads, I guess that is what I uh, that's what will happen. And yeah, that's our flop of the week. 
I do not have any prop of the week. I don't know if Gucci has any prop of the week. Man, prop of the week. Shout out to all the women all over Nigeria, all over Africa, and all over the world. Yep, Big yep. shout out for the magic you bring into the world. Big shout out for the, the things that you do that you know just keeps the engine moving, keeps the, the needle going. Big shout out to you. In any way that in every in every corner and every in your industry that you find yourself, I hope you're excelling. I hope you're doing good. I hope there's a woman, another woman that you can lean on or count on as well. Um, yeah, just big up to women all over the world, especially my Nigerian yeah. babes. That's, yeah, that's, shout that's out like to my own. Hope. Yeah, shout out to the Nigerian women out there and women in general. Keep doing you. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, okay. and um, if you have any uh, message you want to tell us, you know, or release therapy, you can send it to us at family at two three four essential dot com, and we'll read it on the next episode. Yeah, that's a promise. Hopefully, and my post doesn't disappoint us. And also, mm. we do know that our social media engagement has reduced. Nana, take this shot because I fired it at you. However, please follow us on every social media platform at 234 Essential Podcast. Uh, and we'll be more than happy to, to engage on the platforms as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening to us. Um, I think the title of this podcast should be Adult in Blues. What do you think? I 100% agree because you really touched me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys I for rocking really with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for rocking with us. Next week, we promise, promise, promise that we'll be on time on Wednesday. But don't hold us to it if it doesn't happen, sir. Exactly, because the adult scene is really... We don't really talk and sing the adult scene blues, so... Um, and this is not to say that we're trying to be indisciplined. It's just really things be going on. Um, yeah. I was going to read something this week. Um, um, from um, Toya Toy Ledger had, 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 you know, put out some, some interesting requirements for a you know for for some for something and i wanted to read it but i don't have i don't have the the note around me where i jotted it down but yeah hopefully at on our next episode if i remember i hope to put it out there i hope it's also a segment that we can also start on two three four but anywho please be kind first to yourself and and extend grace to other people as well. It's not an easy time. The world is really going through it. People are going through it. So as much as possible, try to be kind. So yeah. All right, man. It's been nice. One love. Peace out. Mm-hmm.